sometimes the monarch will make a chrysalis in a place that may make it difficult to eclose. Uh, you could see an empty shell from one on the bottom of a watering tray. Uh, you could also see one we found in our backyard on a piece of hose. Um, and uh, while we could have left it there and seen what happened, they would more likely have a successful enclosure if we could move them to another position, or in this case, to be able to tag them when they come out. To do that, you need to have a couple things very easy to have ready. A simple pin, a straight pin or a needle available. And you need to also have some wax dental floss. You'll be tying off the chrysalis with this when you're finished. Right here, I have a monarch chrysalis that was formed on the inside of a laundry hamper. And you can see it hanging right from the top. Uh, there is a silk pad that attaches the chrysalis to this hamper. And I'm going to take this pin and I'm going to gently work at that silk pad to loosen it. I like to keep my hand underneath it for safety in case if it slips off faster than I think it will. And. Sometimes you'll go at it a couple times, sometimes it'll pull off right away. There we go. And you can see it hanging right on here. You want to put it back on a cloth. I prefer something kind of soft with a, a nubby surface because they can roll and uh, you want it to stay on the table for you. Take about six or eight inches of your wax dental floss and start your knot and gently slip it over the part of the chrysalis that is dark black here. That's called the cream master. So that is where you would like to have this knot. And if it's sliding, just gently push it on before you tighten it. And you can see how it hangs. Then you'll take a, do it a second time, just for security. Then you can hang it. You could tie it on the top so it's a simple loop where you can hang it anywhere you'd like to watch until it, it closes. The day before it does, it'll turn dark and you'll be actually able to t see it turn clearer after that where you can see the outline of the monarch wings. After it comes out and hangs for four to six hours and dries its wings, you'll be able to tag it and let it go on its way. So this is one way that you can easily watch your monarch butterfly eclose and tag.